The first iPhone Trojan has made its global appearance. For many years, the main banner of iOS was the security it offered to its users. Having a fairly robust system and there was supposed to be no malware and these things that can become much more common on the Android side. However, it seems that the end of this has come and a new malware has been reported. Specifically, it has been discovered by Group IB. They have named it Gold Pickaxe and supposedly this malware is capable of extracting biometric information from user photos, accessing text messages, intercepting web activity and a few other things. This malware was also supposedly capable of obtaining enough information for crooks and attackers to contact the owner of that cell phone, pretending to be a bank representative and obviously having enough personal information about that person, they might be able to steal his money. Fortunately, this malware was just starting to be distributed, so it has been reported mainly in two countries, Vietnam and Thailand. Apparently, in those regions, what the crooks have done is to develop applications that appear to be from the bank, but are not actually from the bank, replicating its interface so that users are not suspicious. The distribution of this application was done through the test flight program that Apple has for developers. That is, although Apple is not so easy to install applications from outside the App Store, it is actually possible with a developer account and if you authorize the developer. So it's a much more complex installation, but it can be done. And if they tricked you by sending you the installer file and telling you to accept everything and install it with confidence, you could be giving access to those crooks yourself. So it's a difficult malware to get installed, but if they trick you well enough, you could install it yourself. However, there is a variant that is now taking advantage of another section of the iOS system called Device Profile Management. Normally, parental control apps use this permission so that parents can authorize or deny permission for certain apps or control their children's access to the internet or the photos they have. So it's a permission that can become very intrusive but well used is beneficial for some types of user. However, these crooks are also taking advantage of that profile to take control of the device. So you have to be very careful which apps you authorize to manage device profiles. And even though Apple released the iOS 17.4 update recently fixing several security issues, in reality this update still does not prevent this malware from working. So you have to wait, because Apple usually responds very quickly, and probably with iOS 17.5 it will stop working. But here the important thing is that you, as a user, have that prevention and that common sense not to install applications that someone is sending you posing as the bank or something similar. In fact, do not send personal information to anyone claiming to be from the bank either. If someone calls you from the bank, just ignore it and go personally to the bank to be absolutely sure since crooks are attacking everywhere and you have to be very careful.